Hello everybody, this is Chris from HackerDaily.com. Today's little episode, we're going to go over how you can make your own spy cam for really cheap or free if you have an old cell phone laying around that you can repurpose for this. Now, if you ever looked at doing a spy cam, and you know, they don't have to be spy cams, they can just be security cameras for the house or outside, but we're going to go with the term spy cam because that seems to be a hot word these days. And if you ever looked at spy cams, they get fairly expensive. Now, I'm not knocking on any one website or any one product, but I've owned similar spy cams like these pin cameras before. And while they're portable to the extent that, you know, you stick them in your pocket and go, the ones I had, had the quality has been really bad. But if you want something you can just lay around the house and people don't think much about it because everybody owns cell phones and they might not think, you know, hey, that cell phone's sitting over there actually recording what I'm doing or streaming video so let's jump right into it um, I found this cool little spy cam software called IP webcam by PAS now make sure you find the one by PAS there's some other ones that try to m mimic the product name IP webcam they have two versions they have a free and they have a pro version and honestly the free is quite powerful and if you need the pro um, version that's fine but the freeze really neat. It will allow it to run if the phone will run it while it's asleep. It will run in the background. It can even disguise itself and look like a web browser running on the phone if somebody turns on the phone and it's in the foreground. So the application is really neat. Um, so you would install this on your, your cell phone and you could run it over Wi-Fi or you know mobile data if it's fast enough if you have a phone that has 3G or above. I've only tested on Wi-Fi and I've been really impressed with the results. Now this is the camera part. Now you can go to the monitor part. There's a piece of software called TinyCam and again they have a pro version which gives a few more options like streaming audio and a few other things that the free version doesn't have. But overall the free version is nice too. So let's think about this. If you have a um, used cell phone with a camera and Wi-Fi capabilities install the IP cam on it if not you can go to like eBay or something and find cell phones for like fifty dollars and below that have the capabilities that you need because of course we're running an Android operating system you probably want at least version 2.2 or something like that and above that's where most of your features came in with the 2.2 series of Android okay so once you install the IP camera software on the phone itself and set up you know the settings then you would install the TinyCam software on another phone that you want to use to monitor it or tablet. But, I've shown this in other videos, there's a way to run Android apps on your PC. And it's uh, a piece of software called BlueStack. So I'm using this on Windows, monitoring two of my cameras. Um, there's the living room and there's one of the outside cameras. And I can just double click this and go back and go through multiple cameras and you can have numerous cameras listed here uh, and I do have more cell cell phones um, available to do this but again for demonstration purposes I figure I'll throw up two of them this to show you the one on the right is running on a fairly old cell phone I was actually surprised it ran and it ran guess this good now it's in sleep mode so the frames per second is not as fast as it would be if I left it on um, awake mode but it doesn't put as much heat on the processor and if you have it in battery usage I have this one wired into a plug even though it has a battery it would also conserve the battery a little longer because I'm telling you right now this is going to eat up a phone battery fairly quickly but if you have a way to you know plug it into a USB port or wall adapter do it so this is two phones running the t tiny well, sorry IP webcam software and this is BlueStacks, and you can find this on HackerDaily.com, showing you how to run Android software on your PC software running this. Yes, there are Windows software that does similar things, but I've been really impressed with this, and I want to show you what it would look like on your Android phone, too. And this is what it would look like. You just double-click it and um, enlarge the Windows. You can actually record. You can set up alarms to alert you when there's motion in the picture. You can... um tell it to record as well so you can record the data from the motion triggered so it's really cool stuff I think the pro version of the tiny cam monitor is like four dollars yep is well worth it if you test out the free first make sure you have it running 
and once you get it running and you want the extra capabilities yeah four dollars no brainer do it if you don't have a cell phone and you want one check you know eBay Craigslist whatever find a cheap cell phone again get decent specs if you will you can pick them up cheap I mean I picked up cell phones for 40 bucks that can do this before and I have a lot of cell phones because I do Android application development so I have been able to test this on quite a few and it's worked on every one I've tested it on now I have been a little disappointed in the Dell streaks the picture is great but once the thing goes to sleep you can't contact it like I can the cheaper old phones and I've tried playing with settings and no difference so while it works on every phone I've tested some phones do have certain quirks other phones don't so again this is Chris from HackerDaily.com showing you how you can make a really cheap and inexpensive spy cam repurposing um, cell phones with Android on it thank you very much and have a great day